Welcome back to X Snipes Gaming. Today we got our second episode with the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, before we start, you can see our last 10, our 4, 5, and 1. Needs to be better. And we are just clinging on to a playoff spot. No, it's early in the season, just November 3rd. But you know what? The beginning of the season is where you know you're going to make it by December. If you're in a playoff spot, you have a good chance. If you're out by December, there's a slim chance you're going to make it unless you go on a 10-game winning streak. Anyway, as you can see, Blake Wheeler, lean goal scorer. So let's just get into this. Let's go 10 games, see what happens, and we might have to move people around if we stay on this average streak to start the year. So we'll go 10 games, so there's 3, 6, 9, 10, so we'll just go up to the, the end of the month. And Brandon Lemieux has gained morale, same with Marco Dano. So we got Colorado first game, we got a 5-3 win, huge win for the boys. And Tyler Myers is available to play, that is huge for our defense. And we are going to take Sherratt out of there and put Tyler Myers in and move him back up there. All right, let's go. We get New Jersey 1 0 win. Perfect. Washington's in the house. And that's Manitoba. I really don't care about Manitoba. And a huge injury comes to Patrick Lining. He will be out to November 20th. We'll just get assistant coach to replace player, and we get a 3 nothing loss. And Tyler Myers has been hurt again. Wow. Injury bug is on our way. We get a 3-1 win over Buffalo. And Manitoba's even getting injured. And Patrick Line is available. For some reason, we had Ben Chirot playing forward. Oops. That is my bad. So we'll get our all-star winger, finish winger in there. And then we got Vancouver and multiple players. That means defensively we could get Tyler Myers back in there. Perfect. There are teams back. We got a 3-2 win over Vancouver, 7-4 win over Calgary. We got Winnipeg and St. Louis back to back. And Nikolai Ehlers is injured. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go to roster moves and bring up a forward. We're going to send down a defenseman. And probably Ben. Confirm. If he gets picked up, it's not a huge loss to us. If he gets picked up, system, and we need forwards. Uh, let's bring up. You know what? Let's bring up Brandon Lemieux. We'll bring him up. He can play. Uh, yeah, he could play up there. I'll give him the shot up here. Why not? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Just getting a bit sick. And we'll move Tana. Uh, we'll keep. Yeah, Pearl can go up there. Tana can go to the fourth line. And apparently, extras, it didn't fill in for anyone. So we'll just put. Uh, let's put Hayden Flurry in there. Sure, why not? Really don't care. Is was uh, AHL best lines. Really don't care as long as their players do stuff. So one nothing loss, five four win over St. Louis. Manitoba really don't care, and we got a trade: Andre Sekera and Chris Russell for a fourth round, fifth round, and Appleton. We are not taking that. I do not want to get older on defense. And Nikolai Ehlers is available to play. So that's... You know what? I want to keep Brandon Lemieux in. We're going to take Cop out. Just because I want to. 
is what it is. Ealer's back in. We got Pittsburgh at home. And Sebastian Ajo has been injured. Whatever. 4-1 win over Pittsburgh. 3-2 shootout win. So that was a good month. We did go, I think, 8-2 and two of those 10 games. Yeah, 8-2. and two. That's what I like. That's how the team should be playing. And we are sitting in second place in the Central Division. And Blake Wheeler with 22 points. Let's go see who's having off seasons here. 22, Shifley, 19. Connor is up there. Connor might get an upgrade to the second line. Line A has 18. Bufflin, Ajo, Lowry. Ehlers only has 8. That might move him down in the lineup. Tanev has 6. Meyer, 6. Little only has 5. And Lemieux doesn't have any yet. So, that is going to change our lineups a bit. Knowing who's playing offensively and stuff. So, Little doesn't have anything. But we can't really move him. But we are going to move Connor out. And see how that works. And Ehlers is, I believe, having an off-season two. But I'm going to move him up to play with Shifley and Lighty. We're going to bring Wheeler down to see if he could start Little's production. And these lines are just going to stay like that. When Aho comes back, he'll probably play third line for a bit. See what happens with him there. So let's go five more games. See who we get back from injury. If you guys would like to see a trade, let me know. See what I could do. See who we could pick up. Trade out of the system. I am willing to trade older guys. If we could get young talent that we know can grow. So let's go up to the 15th. Let's do seven games. So we got New Jersey, New York, New York. 4-2 win over New Jersey. We got the Rangers. 6-4 loss. We got the Islanders. Uh, great. The injury bug hits us again. And we're probably going to have to put a defenseman in here. Sorry, that's real. Okay, Ben Schrott, you're going to play winger on the fourth line. 2 1 loss. We get St. Louis. Oh, wow. The injuries have hit us. Now we need to bring Jordy Ben up again. The injuries have hit us, and this is bad. Uh, defense. This is why I like to have younger people. They don't get injured as often. And best lines down there. Because I really don't care. St. Louis. We get a 3 nothing win. Perfect. There. That's good news. That means Chirac can come out. Actually. I mean Chirac can. Yeah, Sherrod's going to come out. And go there. Then we got Philly, Chicago. 3 nothing win. Again, Chicago 5-2 win. Edmonton, Chicago back to back. 6-3 lost to Edmonton. 5-4 shootout win over the Chicago Blackhawks. And let's just go to player morale, see what we have there. <clears throat> and you got to meet with player. There are times I don't want to walk in the locker room. Uh, there are times I don't want to walk in the locker room. Let's just go um, role model. And he has gained morale from that. So perfect. That's good. Pearl's happy. You can go from there. So Wheeler, 29 points. Still doing good. He's still playing off the points. 
Let's see what that did. Connor has gone up to 27. Perfect. So Connor, Wheeler, and Little. Unless Little's not doing anything, Little put up a few points. So that's good from us. Lion is up there. So maybe I'll keep up with these lines, see what Ehlers can do if he can't do anything. Put Sebastian Ajo up there. He's still hurt though. Now let's go look at your goalies. Goalies are our main concern, right? Without goalies, you're not going to be a winning team. Hellebuck, he's 16, 10, and 1. Two shutouts, 920 save percentage. He's playing phenomenal. Basically, our losses have been weak losses. Comrie, not too bad. Goals against is a bit high, but 916, that's roughly average for goalies in the NHL. So I guess our goalies are doing good. We'll keep them like that. See where we are in the standings. And we are still behind the St. Louis Blues. But we are pushing away from that wild card spot. Which is nice. Anyway that is where I'm going to leave it off. If you guys want to trade. We are 7-3-0 in our last 10. If you guys want to trade. That will work for the team. Like our bottom 6 people. That we could trade out to make our bottom 6 better. Let me know. And I'll catch you on the